Welcome to this introduction to the Manitou NEO Data Entry Overview. This Data Entry Overview introduces the data entry elements within the Manitou NEO client. For a deeper dive into each element, our Bold Genius eLearning courses, as they are released for Manitou NEO, offer more specific learning topics. During this overview, we introduce you to the following within Manitou NEO, the customer record, dealer record, monitoring company record, and other entity records. Let's get started. Once you log into Manitou Neo, there are several ways to load a customer record. One, you can search for the customer record by using the quick search by clicking the spyglass icon on the title bar. Two, you can select a customer from your recent customers. Three, you can pick a customer from your customer watch list. Or four, you can click the hamburger icon, then select maintenance, customer, or control L, and choose go to customer. Once you load the customer, the main customer page loads. The customer form has three key sections. Left-hand navigation, containing all the forms that make up the customer record. A center card section, which contains the cards that make up the display of the form selected. And the right-hand status and on test. The customer status section on the right-hand side of the form is always visible and available. This section shows a quick view of the health and welfare of the system. The start date is the date the account was first brought online. The alarm state will have two colors, green for OK if no alarms are active in the queue, or red if there are alarms in the queue. It may also read if there are any unrestored zones. The monitoring status shows and can be updated from this section. If there are unresolved maintenance issues, the status section shows this indication, and if clicked, the system navigates to the maintenance issues form. Service references if there are any items on test. Each system configured for the record is also visible and clickable from the status section. If there was any items on test, you will also be able to see them above the customer status section near the add on test. When there are areas monitored for open close, the customer status section shows if the areas are opened or closed and when they are armed or disarmed last. Each form is broken down into the separate cards for each section of key information. The Customer Details form has three cards. The top left card is the Details card and it includes the account serial number. This is a unique identification number that will never change in the database even if the customer ID changes. Next is the Account and Relationship type. These are described in detail in the Customer eLearning course. The Site address is next and when you hover over the upper right hand corner of the card it is possible to expand the card by clicking the ellipses. The additional information is cross street and subdivision, country, language, and time zone, the account type, and the accounting information. You may have noticed that when you hover over the top right hand corner there are two more icons that show. The eye is the watch unwatch option. That when clicked adds the customer to the watch list on the default dashboard. The pencil enables the edit mode for items on this card. Each card, when editable and when you have correct permission, will have a pencil for editing. Expanding the details card will also display the customer passwords and related entity cards as well. The top right hand card is the contacts card and it includes all site specific contact points. Note the icons on the left of the contact points. When clicked, these change the left hand navigation frame over to the appropriate contact communication for dialing, emailing, and the like. This allows the ability to contact the customer through the communication center at any time. This also ensures that there is context and documentation of contacts made to customers. Like the details card, there is an expand all ellipses that expands the cards and shows additional cards for passwords and entity details. There is also an edit pencil and an IM link. The IM link is for future functionality through the communication center. The bottom center card is the customer activity card. The most popular reason to load a customer record is to review customer activity. Therefore, the customer activity is now front and center. This card has all the functionality of the full page activity log available on the left hand navigator and can be sorted by clicking on the headers, changed for view preference, and filtered by a vast array of elements. It is also possible to add comments to the activity log. Remember, we encourage the addition of comments every time an operator visits a customer record on behalf of a customer to have a proper audit trail. The systems form contains three main cards, 
The upper left-hand card contains a listing of all the systems defined for the customer and the type of monitoring. Currently, Manitou has four system types. Event monitoring, this is the most common type of monitoring where an alarm system sends events to a monitoring center for operators to manage. Access control is like event monitoring but managed access points usually in conjunction with access control systems integrated with Manitou. GPS pertains specifically to accounts with bull track licensing and have GPS units monitored. Other is used for systems that may not have specific communication paths but are tracked for billing. The upper right hand card is for the creation of a customer specific script message if it deviates significantly from those created globally within the supervisor workstation. The lower card contains items previously found on the customer options form, such as group codes, class codes, the account monitoring group, area and zone fill options, the reporting time zone override, and other options related to the account. Notice the ellipses to the right expand to show the descriptions of what each option means. During this tutorial, we discuss the event monitoring systems. To load a specific event monitoring system, expand the event monitoring section on the navigator or simply click the name on the system's form. The event monitoring system also has three main cards. The upper left hand card contains the panel type if listed, including the details of the maximums if defined. You will notice there is a trash can icon on this card. This will remove the entire system. It does present a warning before doing so. The upper right hand card contains a listing of the user IDs if configured and which areas to which each user has access. There is no edit or other icons in the upper right hand corner of this card. This is a view only card. This information is configured elsewhere. The lower section shows the transmitters configured for the system. Remember, Manitou Neo may have multiple transmitters under a single system and account. It is possible to add new transmitters from this form simply by clicking the plus sign in the upper right hand corner of the card. To view the transmitter and details, simply click the transmitter you wish to view on this card. The transmitter form contains all transmitter related data. The upper left hand card contains all details for the transmitter including the transmitter inventory, the description, the ID number, the receiver line prefix, the transmitter type, this is the default programming the transmitter uses to translate the signals, the caller ID and remote address information, transmitter dates, and the transmitter test interval. The lower left hand card contains the transmitter options. When the descriptions are expanded, the right hand card moves to the bottom of the screen. The right hand card contains the transmitter notes. These notes are often used to detail useful information about the transmitter or system. This information is also available in alarm handling. The next form within the event monitoring system is the areas and zones. The top card contains the areas form. This shows the areas, also sometimes known as partitions, of the system and their open or closed status. The second card contains the zones and their state of received or not received. The last card displays the zone status and any unrestored or other warnings. The programming form contains signal translations and action pattern overrides. The top card contains the signal translations that are specific to the customer record. It is possible to see all transmitters and customer level programming by dropping down the listing at the top of the card and selecting all or specific transmitter types. The lower left hand card contains override action patterns tied to specific event codes. The lower right hand card is a list of any post processing action patterns. The transmitter linking form is only available when there is more than one transmitter on the account or there is a main and sub relationship. This allows the ability to push events from one transmitter to another. The devices form contains a listing of all devices linked to the system and has new features in Manitou Neo. On the upper right hand card there is now a new camera icon that when selected launches the video control center otherwise known as the VCC with the appropriate video or content. The center references card now has the ability to show several reference images for the operator to review and use as comparison when looking at live video shots. Reference images may be uploaded or taken directly from the video control center. Like the front page of the event monitoring system, the user's view is a display of the user numbers and the areas to which the users have access. This is a non-editable field for a quick reference of what users have access with what user IDs.
The Reminders feature allows the creation of any event based on a schedule or time period. The GPS tracking form is visible when systems are licensed for a bolt track. Here you can build geofences and track devices. Monitoring services generate, for the most part, through the data entered on the customer record. The Monitoring Services form displays all the possible chargeable services based on the customer's account. The Contact List form contains all persons and entities that have access to the customer site. This form contains three cards. The left-hand card contains the list of contacts with persons on the top. When a person is selected on the left-hand card, their details display on the right-hand card. The top person selects by default upon arrival to the form. The lower left-hand card holds the attentions for reporting and mailing. The call list form is used to create who to call and in what order to use on specific alarms as needed. Main call lists allow the ability to have people and entities. Sublists may only contain people and are often used when using rotation lists. While many general schedules may be created in line with telephone numbers and open-close schedules, making edits and creating them for action patterns and call lists require the general schedules form. New to Manitou Neo is the new general schedule type called Action Patterns. This allows the ability to use enhanced action pattern logic items or when to suspend events for when items are inside a general schedule to behave differently than when outside the general schedule. Open Close Schedules received a visual update to make them easier to understand and view. Each type of schedule now has a different color indication, and when they override the schedule for a specific week, their color indicates the change on the overall schedule on the right-hand side. The Activity Log form is a full-page view of the same log available on the Details page of the customer record. The Permits form houses all related permits to the account. If an alarm is closed with a false alarm resolution code and the authority was notified, the false alarm count is noted on this form. The comments form houses all comments for the customer record and defaults to the first comment on the account. Please note if a temporary comment is expired, it's highlighted in red. The left hand card expands and collapses when selected to allow room to display the comments. Also note, Auto Client Operator Must See Alarm is now an opt-in option to reduce errors. User-defined fields are still configured within the Supervisor Workstation and display from top to bottom in Manitou Neo. The Plans form received a complete overhaul in Manitou Neo. Given its power and detail upon selecting the Plans form, both the status and navigation panes disappear. The Plans form many elements add power that access other features in Manitou including cameras. To retrieve the navigator, click the arrow in the upper left-hand corner of the title bar. The Maintenance Issues form shows all unresolved maintenance issues and their details. The Reports form allows the ability to run singular one-off reports or schedule specific reports on a periodic basis. When applicable, the Reverse Send form allows the ability to interact with transmitters that can receive commands from Manitou Neo. Action Patterns received a completely new look and some powerful enhancements. One really nice feature is Action Patterns may now be masked to show operators playing conversational text that steps them through their work. The Enhanced Action Patterns allows you to add logic and truly meet all the requirements of customers, dealers, and jurisdictions. We introduce Enhanced Action Patterns in a separate tutorial. So that's the customer record in a nutshell. So what are the key changes to the customer record? The customer status is always available and easy to understand. The customer record now has the customer activity log on the details form front and center for quick access. And that log has the ability to add comments to track conversations with customers. The system form is simpler to navigate and the devices are now more powerful with access to the video control center and reference images. GPS tracking with bold track geofencing and device tracking is simpler. General schedules are now in line in many places and can be used in action patterns. Open close schedules are easier to read with new color coding. Plans are cleaner and more streamlined. And action patterns are more powerful and easier for operators to understand. The dealer record is located one of two ways, either by pressing F10 from within a customer record or by locating it under the maintenance menu and selecting the dealer and then loading that dealer record. 
The first form to load is the Dealer Details form. The Details form contains three main cards. The Details card that contains the core information about the dealer. The Contacts card has the contact information. And then the Dealer Options card that contains all the options that allow the dealer's customers to place their own accounts on test, accounting information, time format for reports, and if the reports should show the dealer's email address in the front field. The dealer record contains many similar forms to the customer record, only customized to that dealer. The transmitter types form on the dealer record allows a configuration of specific transmitter types to used for that specific dealer. This restricts the list of available transmitter types for the customer under the dealer to reduce mistakes. Also, the transmitter ID ranges are configured on the transmitter types form. The programming form contains the action pattern overrides and the post processing by event categories. Billing is on a single form with cards and tabs in place to aid in configuring records for dealer billing. Control panels are now in a larger view and display configuration details when available. As before, Manitou Neo Statistics form shows the dealer's customers and their state, accounts and alarm, and on test and the like, as well as any items that may need attention. Many of these items are viewable in more detail and can even direct you to their account for more investigation. The monitoring company record is found under the maintenance menu and like the dealer and other entities. Like all other entities, the record contains contact lists, call lists, comments, and general schedules. The monitoring company has the transmitter ID ranges and can be defined exclusively to the company so no dealers may use them. The same thing is true of billing. The company scheduled reports are created on the monitoring company record and global action patterns are created here. The statistics can be shown for all customers or for only those customers not separated by dealer or branch. The same detailed views are available as those on the dealers. Other data entities are authorities where they have requirements for permits configured, agencies that can be configured for guarding, alternate authorities, businesses like cleaners and the like, branches that can be used to group accounts much like dealers but without action patterns and programming, and global key holders for people who have access to multiple customer sites but have the same contact information. Thank you for taking the time to learn a bit about Manitou Neo's data entry system. During this overview, we introduced you to the Manitou Neo customer record, dealer record, monitoring company record, and other entity records. We noted the power of the customer record, where the customer status is always available and easy to understand. The customer record now has the customer activity log on the details form front and center for quick access. The systems form is simpler to navigate and the devices are now more powerful with access to the video control center and reference images. The GPS tracking with bold track and geofencing device tracking is simpler. The general schedules are now in line in many places and can be used on action patterns. The open close schedules are easier to read with color coding. The plans are cleaner and more streamlined, and action patterns are more powerful and easier for operators to understand. Much of that power is also translated into other entities as well. Now it's your turn. If your system is not yet updated to Manitou Neo, contact our support team at support at boldgroup.com and find out how to get scheduled for your update. But don't wait to try it out. We have a system you can try today. Just click the link below and you'll be directed to our demo site where you can register and give it a try. Thanks again for spending time with us today. We're excited to have you try Manitou Neo.